On an open space in the middle of Kentish Town, a group of talented men and women is bringing some highly original ideas into play. They are the problems of the inner city areas, bad housing, lack of space, a feeling of living in a concrete jungle. In 1972, a small group of people who were working with a local activist organization called Interaction basically wound up living on this property. They'd been working elsewhere and they wound up having to leave and the council said that they could live in some buildings that were on this property and they had a proper lease and everything but just to kind of stay there and and house their organization there and what they realized was that there was this whole undeveloped property and so they started running programs and calling out to friends and family apparently for animals and the community just responded so well that it, within a very short amount of time they had a farm with gardens and animals and children and pony rides and I mean it just mushroomed really really quickly. Children who don't often get a chance to see a green field have had the farmyard delivered to their doorsteps with obvious appreciation. Grandparents are coming in with their grandchildren who can remember coming here uh, with their kids. So we're into fourth generation usage. Yes, the future does look quite challenging in terms of finances or whatever. But I suppose that being said, we've been here 40 years and we intend to be here for another 40 years. Uh, we've had you know, members of the public chased by pigs that have been in season. Uh, we've, had <laughs> we've had people butted by the ram and when the sign on the gate says do not go in the field, there is a ram in here and he will butt you. One day we had these two um, hippie guys come in and they said, excuse us man, we've got this uh, chicken here and uh, we've been, uh, we've been ki <laughs> kicked out of our squat and uh, you know, we can't take the chicken, we've got nowhere to go and we're really sad about about her going, she lays an egg every day and all this old nonsense. And at that time we didn't put the chickens away and so this chicken decided to, you know, sleep perched on the pig's back. So I came in one morning and the pig was quite happily chomping uh, on this wing of a chicken and there was bits of plasm on the floor there. Uh, and so that was a sad demise of Lucky the Chicken because that's what they called it. woman who came with her child I think who was about nine and the mother was sitting in the kitchen waiting for the kid who was like having a great time running around the farm and everything anyway and the kid went up to the goat's pen and picked up um, a duck's egg because all of our chickens and ducks are free range and they you know they roam around picked up a duck's egg, egg and came back and said to um, his mum look mum I found a goat's egg <laughs> and the mum turned down and said no love that's too small to be a goat's egg <laughs> oh, <laughs> really I, good. I, I haven't heard that story I just love that story oh, God, that's brilliant. Brilliant. it is really surprising how many inner city primary school kids come here and will still not really understand that beef comes from a cow, that an egg comes from a chicken. A lot of them really still don't realise that and it is always quite amazing to see their little faces when they suddenly realise. <laughs> Sometimes you don't realise, I suppose, in terms of the effect you're having on people's lives until much further down the road. I mean, you could be you could be down in the yard and somebody might come in and say, God, I remember you from 15 years ago or whatever. And they go, yeah, I've got a family now or whatever. And they, they, they tell you that basically the impact that the, the place had when they, were, when they were a young child. And they'll be talking about the fun that they had they felt they were safe here, they really enjoyed it, what they learnt from it. But it takes people a long time when you it's always when you look back uh, that you then you start to realise what you, you valued, uh, particularly during your childhood. 
and a lot of people who seem to come back here and bring their children have very very fond memories of it so we're obviously making a difference yeah. um, long may the difference continue Down on